from Oldham. It's the Horn and Hoof Records podcast video chat show with your host, Danny Barrett. Hello and welcome to the Horn and Hoof Records podcast video chat show. Hello and Hoof. I'm your guest host, Danny. Am I the guest or the host? Am I the... No, I'm the host. The yeah, host. That's right. I'm, I'm your host, Danny Barrett from the Crash Mats. Uh, and today, my guest is Will from Hummer. Will from Hummer. Hello, and Hoof. I'm Batman. Hey. It's, you should respond, hello and Hoof, but I'll let you off. Never mind. Hello and Hoof. Hello and Hoof. And then I, I say hello and Hoof. Hoof and hello. Okay, so you're in the band Hummer. Was. Sorry? Was. I mean was. Hummer split up three months ago. But you're, you're higher on the list on the Home Youth website and the Crash Mats album. He's not even in the band. Why? I didn't say it wasn't in the band. You said Hummer split up three months ago. Okay. Okay. So, Hummer have recently split up. How long have you been going? Oh, we're going. How long were you going for? Has that line up? A long time. Was uh, Joe and Kenny just Sick of your shit. Uh, Katie was. Joe's still hanging in there. Has Katie ever shown any emotion at the gig? Whilst playing? Yes. Ever? Yes. Watch our video. Do you have, do you have what? video footage of this? Yes. Watch our video for Whiskey Eyes on uh, what Hornady put it out. You yeah. can see. There's a bit during the guitar solo where Katie played the song about twice as fast as it should have been. Mm. I turned to him during the solo and shout, fuck me, this is fast, and he burst out laughing and carry on playing. It looked kind of like this. Some Impressive. Sort of like, some That's... sort of cookie monster effect. Okay, brilliant. Budweiser and Butter, Whiskey Eyes. Does the person who wrote the song in Hummer have uh, a drinking problem? Possibly used to. Used to. Okay. Uh, we're going to play the video for WA5 WA IVE, WASIV? Is it WASIV? It's actually called WA5. WA5? What's the IVE? Well, do you, do you remember the band Five? Yeah. And they, they used to spell it number five IVE. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was the joke because the chord progression is exactly the same as that Keep On Moving song. Wasn't that S good term? No. You sure? You're thinking, don't stop moving. I oh. shouldn't know this. Okay. Show me age now. Right. So it's WA5, because I thought you'd just not titled it right and left uh, .ive. Like it was some sort of like MP3, that, that was the name of the file, and you'd just not written it right. Oh, so yeah, I was, we were, we were but then I was calling it, I thought, no, it's, it's a word. So I say WASIV, but what you're saying is, it's WA5, but also it's five as in the band five. Yes. IVE. Correct. Okay. So we're going to see that video now. It's about how shit Warrington is. Oh, sorry, later on. We're going to see that video later on, right? It's got a, a, it's a very lovely shot of you screaming into a, a, a webcam. Oh, yeah. Uh, in it. And I also watched the video for uh, Whiskey Eyes, and there's a lovely shot in that video of you screaming into a webcam. So I wanted to know what was your influence for that lockdown okay lockjaw fair enough um you're a site mechanical engineer for a nuclear power plant plastics factory nuclear plastic factory yeah okay um how has this helped you on the diy punk rock scene i suppose i can make stage props okay I don't know how, but I suppose I could. You suppose you could? I suppose you could? I suppose you could? How many bands are you in? Or have you been in? Have you lost count? Yeah. How many bands have got sick of your shit? At least three. Okay. And pro one of them must be at least two runs. Right. I've been in some bands twice. I've been on the internet and I've looked up some rumours and innuendo about um, Pummer. This is the section of the show we like to call rumours and innuendo. Uh, rumors and innuendo number one. Are you a werewolf? Yes. Oh! 
rumour and innuendo number two. Is Steven Spielberg your dad? No, Steven Seagal is. Steven Seagal is your dad. Do you know Kung Fu? No. That's the end of our section, rumours and innuendos. Thank you very much. Uh, whilst we're on sections, uh, we'd like to read out uh, our uh, Patreon sponsors for this episode. Hello and Hoof. Uh, if you want to be a Patreon sponsor, sign up to our Patreon list. Um, we currently don't have any still, but we're working on it. Um, so, Will, back in the game. Thanks for coming. You play bass and guitar and double bass online. Have you ever thought about any other stringed instruments you could play? The harp, the harpsichord. You could do a harp cover of a rancid song or a harpsichord slash mandolin version of a Rammstein song. A Rammstein song? I suppose I could do Hast on the mandolin, that'd be interesting. Do, do Hast, do Hast mandolin. It would be, it would sound very good. It would sound very good. Have you got any interests in bringing in any of the stringed instruments? To your repertoire. Yeah, well, yeah, I've done it in the past. Yeah. In fact, there's a song on Homer's album which has a bit of mandolin on it. My good, good God. Tell me more. Uh, well, it's the acoustic song that no one likes. Rest of my week. Don't tell me anymore. Chip Tunes. You did an 8-bit Chip Tunes album for Horn and Hoof Records. Yeah, where you took Horn and Hoof Records bands and you made Chip Tunes out of their most famous songs. Yes, I you did. Famously, you did a chip tune version of the Crash Mats Watchmen. And, and you've hated me ever since. And I, well, you know, you even got the little sting that Rousey does at the start. <laughs> but in a chip tune, it sounds very much like uh, the intro to one of the best Sega Mega Drive games you've never played. But what was the inspiration behind the chip tunes? Like a lot of Horn and Hoof ideas, a uh, possibly drunken conversation with Scott Bradley. <laughs> And all the best ideas come up with a drunken conversation with Scott Bradley. Drunken sex with Scott Bradley. Okay. Sorry, Helen. <laughs> um, I've seen many interviews with you. You like to mention the fact that Homer Arahan and New Record banned, but you never mention the crash mats in any of your uh, interviews. Why is this? Do you have a beef with the crash mats? And if so, explain your beef with the crash mats. All I can say is, to be the man, you got to beat the man. Woo! Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, you unfortunately you can uh, you you couldn't take part in the fastest punk alive earlier on due to technical difficulties. But if you could run, how fast do you think you would run? Not as fast as I can say. Okay. Will from Hummer, thank you very much for being on the Horn Hoop Records podcast video chat show hello and hoof thank you will the pleasure's all yours of course Ooh. Ooh. <laughs>